Former Vice President has called upon all Ugandans to support NUP President Honorable Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, for presidency, not President Museveni's son Mohozi Kainerugaba. I'm going to tell you which Vice President is this and from which country, but this is good news for all the supporters of Bobby Wine. However, before that, subscribe to the Buzz UG. Actually, we are now at 10.3k subscribers. We are about to hit our target, which is 20k subscribers. Haters, you're gonna die. I'm telling you, you will die in this movie. <laughs> anyway, subscribe and tap on the bell for all the notifications. But before we go to the main story, let me first update you about what happened over the weekend. Now, last week, the opposition chief whip, that is Honorable Baptist Nambeshe, lost his father and the burial was over the weekend. Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, that is Honorable Thomas Tayewa, and the NUP President, Honorable Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, were among other notable mourners in Bududa district. However, Honorable Thomas Tayewa was forced to leave the burial ceremony after embarrassed by NUP President Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine. Actually, the function had started normally, with Honorable Tayewa addressing the mourners and appealing to the opposition leaders to embrace government programs other than criticize all the time. However, trouble started after Bobby Wine addressing the mourners. Bobby Wine accused Honorable Tayewa of torture when he was caught on camera beating up an employee of Umeme. I think we all remember that video that circulated on social media some time back. And actually, Honorable Bobby Wine went ahead to call upon Honorable Tayewa to apologize to the country because of what he did. But after Bobby Wine accusing him of all that, Tayewa stood up with a lot of frustration on his face and left the burial ceremony. So actually that is what happened over the weekend and I thought I should first update you on that before I take you to the main story. Now, in other news, former Vice President of Uganda, that is Gilbert Bukenya, has advised Buganda Kingdom and the people of Uganda at large to support Honorable Bobby Wine for presidency, but not President Museveni's son Mohozi Kainerugaba. Uh, Gilbert Bukenya has come out and expressed his full support towards NUP President for becoming the next President of Uganda. Actually, he was appearing on a certain media platform in Kampala and he revealed that Bobby Wine has the full potential of becoming the the next president of Uganda because one, the guy is very courageous, two, the guy is very charismatic, three, the guy has all qualities of a good leader in him. But in his own words, he said, no politician in Uganda can stay on the front line while bypassing bullets. It's only that young man who was recently attacked in the campaigns as police shot bullets towards him and the next day he came back to the campaign trail. He's such a young brave man. Yes, that is, uh, you know, Gilbert Bukenya saying that statement right there. He also said that the day Museveni will retire, he won't agree with him if he seconds his son Mohozi Kainerugaba for president. Now, Gilbert Bukenya asked the Buganda Kingdom to support Bobby Wine to become the president of Uganda because he believes that it's the right time for Buganda to also groom their own. And the good thing is that they already have Bobby Wine right here. So he calls upon Buganda Kingdom and the people of Buganda and, of course, Uganda at large to support Honorable Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu Bobby Wine for president president but not Museveni's son that is Mohozi Kainerugaba. So there you go. Uh, that's the former vice president of Uganda Gilbert Bukenya. I don't know what you think of his statement but personally I think his statement makes sense. Anyway that is the latest I have on the Buzz UG. Subscribe in case you haven't and tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.